All right, guys, welcome back. Welcome back. We're continuing with weight. All right, we're measuring weight using standard tools. A string balance, a string balance has marking, markings on it and a pointer showing the weight of the object. All right, for example, this one, there is the weight. Then there will be a needle. And as you place something on top, the needle will move. And obviously where the needle stops, that's how heavy the object is. All right? This one, again, it's a balancing scale. So, the cookies, you place a packet of cookies in there, then you take the lead weights, depending on how much each lead weight weighs. Some of them can be 25 grams, some of them can be 50 grams, different sizes. Maybe you take two 100 grams, you put it in there, and a 50 gram, boom, put it in there. It balances out, and then you know how heavy it is. Okay. Uh, measuring weight in units, kilograms, grams, and keys are units for measuring weight. 100 gram. 100 grams is one key. All right. So if someone asks you how much it weighs, you say it weighs one key. That means it weighs 100 grams. Okay, <clears throat> 10 kids is one kilogram. So if someone asks you how much it weighs, and they tell you 10 kids, it means it weighs one kilogram. Or if you tell them it weighs one kilogram, it's the same as 10 kids. And 1,000 grams is one kilogram. How much does it weigh? Uh, 1,000 grams. But it's easier to say one kilogram. It means the same, right? Okay, kilograms are abbreviated as kg, grams as a g. Um, kilograms and grams are the standard units. It's the standard units. So keys aren't really used. But when it comes to math and solving math, we use keys. All right, let's look at the next page. Okay guys, reading weight from a string scale, it's like I just told you, uh, before you weigh anything, you must always make sure that the needle points to zero. There's always something, so you're going to put your, your tray on. The tray weighs something. So what you must do at the back of the scale, there's something you can turn. And as you turn it, the needle will move. So then you put your tray on, and you move that needle until it's on zero. And then you place whatever you want away on top. And then in this instance, it looks like it's a two. So it's, it's probably two kilograms, right? Because those fruit won't weigh two grams. All that fruit has to be two kilograms. All right. You see, oh, before weighing the needle of the spring scale points to zero. After weighing the needle of the spring scale points to two, all right? So the weight of the vegetables is two kilograms. Not going to do this now. We will review this at a later point or, or at a later stage. All right, guys, this is just matching. Matching <coughs> each of these to which one of these two scales you use. The diamond, jewelry, we use this one. The watch, jewelry, we use this one. The bananas, we use this one. Apples, this one. These are pills, medication, medicine, use this one, all right? Kilograms, but more than grams. All right. 
Remember that, because that might just be a question in the test. All right? The weight of four bananas is four keys. So this scale obviously measures in, measures in keys. All right? The weight of apples is two keys. It's just about reading the scale, guys, and making sure, because the scale will tell you whether it's kilograms, whether it's grams, or whether it's keys. All right? The, the scale will tell you. So you just have to make sure you read. The weight of strawberries, all of these strawberries is one key. The weight of cherries, all of these cherries, three keys. Okay, let's look at the next page. Okay, I'm going to do this one with you. Let's see. The weight of the pineapple, what's the weight of the pineapple? It's a bit blurry, but I can count, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, seven kids. It's just about reading the scale. The weight of the orange, there's the orange. It's two. The weight of the lemons, here's the lemons. One, two, three. Right, and the weight of the custard apples. Mm. The custard apples, one, two, three. Four kids. All right. All right, guys. That's it for now. Um, you have a bit of homework. All right. You guys need to take your workbooks. You know your workbooks. All right. This one, yeah, your workbooks, page 143 to page 147, right, page 143 to page 147, that is your homework, see you guys in the next video, bye.